guys, it's Tash here and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you've only just found me by clicking on this video. So, as you've listened by the title, today I am bringing you guys a little prep, glow up and pack with me for holiday. I thought it would be really, really fun to film this just because I know I love watching these kind of videos. Whether I'm going on holiday or not, I absolutely love people's holiday content. As I am now lucky enough to have this holiday booked, which I am going on, I thought I definitely would have to bring you guys as much holiday content as possible. So yeah, in the little prep with me, I am gonna get my nails done, my eyelashes done. I thought I'd bring you guys along the PCR test process with me all that stuff and then also you guys can pack with me i feel like if you also have a holiday booked i feel like these videos can be really helpful just to remind you of all the essential bits you might need to bring i'm gonna like run you through my holiday checklist and just all the things i'm packing so that will literally be all the travel essentials holiday essentials holiday clothing literally everything i'm packing so it may remind you of things you might be missing or just help you with your own holiday list if you are going away if not i hope you just love watching these kind of videos i literally am filming this intro just following on from the last video i uploaded which was my come holiday shopping with me so if you guys haven't seen that i will leave that link down in the description definitely go and check that video out that was me going to blue water and picking up loads of stuff that i will be packing in this video all my travel essentials definitely go and give that one a watch but yeah i just thought i would come and intro the video video before I start prepping and going out for holiday. So if you guys are excited for this video please don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and if you are new here I would definitely love for you to come subscribe, come and join my little YouTube family especially ready for holiday content. A holiday vlog will be coming soon and some other fun videos which I think you guys will love so definitely definitely subscribe. But without further ado let's get into a prep and pack with me for holiday. Hello guys, excuse the fact that I'm in my dressing gown, but my new phone has just arrived. I feel like getting a new phone, like new phone day is such an exciting thing. So I've upgraded to the iPhone 12 Pro. So my iPhone 10 was due its upgrade and I've switched from EE on this one to Tesco Mobile. I just feel like they do the best upgrade deals. They're cheap, you get your club card points. Um, they're like the only provider as well that won't up your like bill every year. With EE, it kept going up like a pound each year, which I just thought was so cheeky when you think you've paid a set price and then they are able to put it up but Tesco Mobile isn't able to do that. So that is why I have switched over to this provider. But I just thought I would come and unbox it on the vlog because yeah, like I said, new phone day is exciting. I've got to put my new SIM into this, um, get the number switched over, which I think just takes 24 hours. Set it all up and then I'm good to go. But yeah, I got it delivered because I wanted the gold and I didn't have that in the store. Ooh, packaging is so slim and sleek. Open her up. Oh, she's nice. Obviously it's got like the protective film on it at the moment, but... There she is, I'm so excited because I've got some new cases on the way. So excited! It's so nice, I love the way it's like really gold on the edges as well. Ah, it's not the thing, I don't want to get it dirty, I don't want to get any fingerprints on it. Right, I'm going to have to take this off the front. Looking sleek! Okay, going to need to put the memory card, the memory card, the SIM card in it, so... I'm just going to do that now. Okay, so I've put the SIM card in. I'm now just waiting for the iPhone 12 to do its software update. Um, as you can see, it's actually telling me on my old phone. It literally just came up like, did I want to transfer everything from this phone onto this one? So such an easy setup. Well, it has been so far. I'm hoping the number transferring over as well. It's just as easy. But yeah, this is the current status that I'm at. Just waiting for the software update. Okay, this is what I mean about now it's transferring over. The update has been done. So literally saying it's taking about seven minutes, which is pretty good. I think obviously this is just gonna transfer over like my contacts, my apps, oh, <laughs> just like all the usual bits. Um, though I might get rid of that, but this has been such an easy setup so far. I just got through a parcel from Skinny Dip. So I just thought I would quickly open this. I just realized it's really zoomed in. Let me zoom back out because in here I have a new case for my phone and they also sent me a couple of bits for my holiday so let's get into this parcel I like skinny dip oil always spoil me oh my god I've got a new towel 
literally perfect timing so i'm not gonna get it out of the packet maybe i'll pop a screenshot on the screen but they've sent me the new barbie x skinny dip malibu beach towel i literally needed a new towel so that is perfect some new sunglasses these just look such a vibe for holiday oh let me try them on not sure if these are part of the barbie range i don't think so Ow, tag just poked me in the eye. I mean, obviously they're gonna look better on holiday, but they're cute. They also sent me a Barbie swimming costume. I thought, what a vibe is this gonna be with the Barbie towel? This is super cute. Just pink, says Barbie on it like that. But yeah, I just feel like it's gonna look really, really cute with my matching beach towel. And then they also sent me this gorgeous bag. This is really new in, I think, on the website. Kind of like a pinky nude. Oh my god, that's stunning. This is what that looks like. It's a bit like ruched. Got a little handle. Skinny lip branding there. Gold details. Just quite a nice size as well. Feels really, really luxe quality that like ruching kind of handle that is so cute and then this little gingham dress again i probably won't really be able to hold that up and show you so i'll just put a picture on screen but they seem to have a lot of gingham at the moment that's really cute and then finally the new case for my phone i feel like that's gonna be cute let's get into it Here's the phone case guys how cute is it so i chose out this like marble print one and then it's kind of like iridescent when it shines in different lights obsessed i mean i feel like you can never be a fresh iphone just like underneath but no way too risky no case on a phone need a phone case so yeah this is really really pretty love skinny dip cases and then whilst i was putting that on i just had another delivery actually who kindly sent me through this little set i mean i did originally i think ask for it in like the baby blue color i think it must have gone out of stock so they've sent me the orange so hopefully it still looks a vibe on because this was going to be my airport outfit i don't know if it's going to be a little bit too loud for like oh no actually do you know what i've just thought i can't wear that as my airport outfit because i'm literally gonna just look like i've dressed to match easy jet like we are flying with easy jet and i'm gonna look like i'm the crew or i'm just like dressing to match the occasion oh no guys that's really put me off i don't know it's meant to be the like pangea pangea not sure how to really say it but that kind of dupe um super cute it's like a shorts and hoodie set maybe i'll try it on and show you guys but now i'm really worrying about that because i'm pretty sure that is literally the exact same orange as easy jet so might not be that cute i don't know we'll see but anyway i'm so grateful nevertheless i will definitely wear it i'm just not sure if i'll wear it as my airport outfit but cute so guys welcome to the pack with me section of this vlog i'm sorry i don't really know how this vlog is gonna have panned out like i said i do want to include like the whole prep and pack with me process so I don't know if it's been a little bit bitty here and there but i've just tried to include as much content as possible so i hope it's all made sense and it's been okay i've currently not really prepped anything beauty wise that's happening on friday i've got my nails and my lashes to get done and tomorrow i'm going to get the test so i'll bring you guys along with that i'm debating whether i laminate my own brows again whether to give them a little tint so i may be doing that but i thought Let's get a little bit organised. Let's start packing with me. So I've got my absolutely huge suitcase here with me. I have got one of those hard shell kind of suitcases. And that girl that has the one with my initials on it, my boyfriend, got it for me for my 21st birthday. And I've not actually used it to go away yet. The only issue with these suitcases is they're just really heavy without even anything in. I feel like because obviously that's such sturdy material. They are that like hard shell on the outside. They're really, really heavy. So would I recommend possibly not just because it already like takes up a lot of your baggage weight allowance that you have. We've got 46 kg between us. So I'm hoping my boyfriend's is going to be pretty light. So I'll be okay. But if I were to recommend a suitcase, I would probably really recommend the brand It. 
it luggage they do some really really good suitcases i made my boyfriend get the black and rose gold one which is really nice and they're just really lightweight so you can obviously have more of your weight allowance inside the case rather than just the case itself but we're gonna make do the thing is they have so much room and you can pack so much in them but then it's like I feel like the weight of it is going to be excessive. So we will see how we get on. I've not got that much space in my room, but we're going to give this a go. So I'm just going to get it open. Oh, it's just going to be the stress of where to start. I've got a huge pile of stuff that I basically want to pack. Like, I'm pretty sure I've actually got all my clothes out that I want to take with me. It's just oh, getting it all in, making sure you've literally got everything. Oh my God, I've literally got no space, guys. Okay, so this is what we're working with. Got the suitcase and there's my pile of clothes and like swimming costumes and all that stuff that I need to get into the case. Um, I'm going to attempt to not overpack, but the thing is, I obviously am going to also want to get content whilst I'm out there. So I have got a couple of extra bits. So yeah, I'm not going to see and we'll see what we can fit in and what we're working with weight wise. So because most of these clothes I have included in hauls, I might talk through a couple of bits, but some of it I'm just going to throw into the case um, and pop you on a time lapse. But yeah, I will try and talk through as much as possible. So I'm thinking there's not going to be too much method to my packing. I'm just going to go through the pile and just kind of pack it in. <laughs> Okay, first thing on the pile is some swimming costumes from Boohoo. I did film a whole Boohoo haul. So you will see all of these in that. That probably will be up after this video, but yeah, definitely keep an eye out for that also. Am I going to probably regret leaving the tags on all this stuff? Yeah, probably, but am I going to take them off now? No. So I don't know why it's like actually totally kind of dirty in my case. Also, there's probably like better methods to packing that I just like clearly don't know about. Um, like I feel like most people roll their stuff. Is that better? I don't know. I'm just go for the fold. Do you know what? I feel like I should be taking tags off. Like why am I actually keeping them on? Actually also taking these two swimming costumes from Shein. I got them in my most recent Shein haul. I really wanted to do another order before I went away, but it was just that last minute. I knew I wouldn't have had time, but I definitely do want to do a Shein at Summer Hall soon. I like had a scroll on the website and oh, they're just literally the best place for um, swimwear and bikinis and stuff. So yeah, if you have got a holiday book, definitely check out a bit of Shein and yeah I literally thought I wasn't going to get any use out of these this year but I love them so I'm so excited to wear these two. I also got this swimming costume from Primark which I showed in my come holiday come shop with me. It's just like classic white for like you can't go wrong. Okay then I've like got quite a few that I'm like umming and ahhing between because I didn't realise how many cute ones I actually had saved up. Um, I will show you all my options. I'm really thinking I probably don't need to pack them all. Okay, I think so. So, black swimming costume. I can't even remember where this one's from. It might have literally been like Tesco's or probably Primark again, but it's just got a nice like ruched detail on the front. I'm not really showing it the best, am I? Like that. It's just like a little bit plunge. That's quite easy wearing. Um, and then I forgot that I got this one from I Saw It First. Can't even remember when I got it, but I'm pretty sure it's not made it to a holiday. Did I make it last year? Well, not last year, the year before that, actually. I can't remember, but it's cute. And I feel like I've got nice beach cover-ups that would go nice over this one. So I think I might pack this. And then I had this one that I got again, I think it was last year from Cupshe. Which is quite cute it's got like that little waistband to it and then quite a cute bikini top but i'm literally like do i need it i don't know i'm gonna put it to the side for now beach cover-ups let's go in with that so i got this toweling one from h m these are like beach cover-ups slash also just like daytime outfits okay so far so good Okay, I'm gonna pack some of my stuff from the George G21 range. 
I feel like these could be good daytime outfits and I also want to get content in a couple of them. Honestly, what am I like for leaving tags and things? Okay, all of these are maybes because honestly, I don't want to like overwhelm myself with how much I'm trying to take and trying to get content in. So we'll leave that for a second. I'm gonna pack in my evening outfits. There's a lot. Oh God, I've just found another bikini. <laughs> gorgeous dress from Zara which I didn't think I would be getting wear out of this year so I'm so excited to wear that. I'm literally going to try and throw all the toiletries in like my boyfriend's case so hopefully that's going to save me. I'm having to put that in mine. Okay I actually think that might be the clothes done. Thank god I can kind of oh, those two. like clip it together and hide that away and then in this side I guess I can just put like shoes and accessories and some of the toiletries okay I don't feel so bad about that so far <laughs> at least that part of it is done guys let's clip it and forget about it in here or in the other one I'm gonna put underwear so I'm just gonna quickly do that it's not really that interesting <laughs> Okay, knickers are in, I need to move on to like bags and shoes. So shoes, I definitely know I'm taking these sliders. Classic Primark flip flops. This bag from a misguided. I'm gonna get back to you on the rest because I have no idea. I think I wanna pack these pink ones. I feel like they will go with a lot of my look. I'm gonna see put it in and then I'll show you guys through it okay so these are the shoes I've gone for white flat pair from quiz pink new look ones nude primark ones sliders black flip flops blue uh, missy empire ones that nude misguided bag that misguided bag and then my pink prada bag is under there there's actually also a little blue bag inside of that so yeah that is the shoes and bags next job is just all the little bits and bobs so i've literally packed it pretty much all in here um, i'm going to distribute what is in here into like little toiletry bags and bits like that and just try and sort all of this stuff out so i'll talk you through that as i go okay so here's what i mean by the little clear things i mean mine are a little bit dirty i feel like that one needs a bit of a clean out i mean it'd be fine everything's in packets but yeah i just picked these up from amazon um, one time for holiday and they're just really really useful so I'm just going to put all toiletries in these in here. okay so packing them both for me and Marcus um, some real essentials what have we got so I would feel like this is the kind of thing people forget about but I think it's an essential you know pack some emodiums now if you don't know what these are they basically relieve diarrhea so i know it's a little bit tmi but i don't think i've ever really needed to use them touch wood i don't need to but i just feel like to be on the safe side it's just a good thing to take away with you when traveling so i don't know about you guys but sometimes the food can give me a little bit of a tummy ache you know it's different kind of food it's just a little bit different and you just never know when you might need them so i just feel like it's always good to pack them okay you might not want to, but I feel like it's an essential and people forget about it. So let's put them in there. Then we've got two different choices of deodorant for Marcus. I think we'll go for that one. He's got a mini deodorant. What? I won't need dry shampoo. Um, we've got toothpaste. We've got quite a few to choose from. We've got Colgate. we got Smile by Boots. Or we've got I think that's Primark whitening toothpaste. Nice, give it a smell. We'll go with that one, I think. A razor, and then also this is really necessary. Insect repellent, really good to spray on you, maybe before like you're going out in the evening or before you go to bed. Again, I don't know about anyone else, but I tend to get bitten by mosquitoes, and so does my boyfriend on holiday, so. This is an essential as well. It's also sometimes really good to get the little plugins that repel the insects as well that you can just like plug in when you're there. Didn't manage to get one of those, so I either might buy one or just see how we go. I 
fingers crossed we don't get too bitten to death. <laughs> so that is that. That will either be that one or I might see if I need to. Get anything else in there. Shower gel. We need. I got this new stuff. So I got this Aragon oil by Morocco. I just saw people said it was quite good for hair. So I thought I would try that. Paracy Small, again, essential. I did get this little hair gel to like try and do some slick back looks. Quite a big bottle, but we'll pop it in. I've got hairspray. I might put that one in there, actually. Sun cream. Got my tinted moisturiser. Toothbrushes. Maybe a separate one. micellar water shampoo and conditioner whip that in here my other tinted moisturiser I might put that in my makeup bag though so I'll leave that out a lip balm after sun moisturiser and just after sun um, God, that is heavy that is my like glow stuff I've got hand sand, one's gonna go in here and one can go in my hand luggage. Mini hair protector. Cleansing milk. Foundation, which can just go in my makeup bag. Liquid blush, makeup bag. Moisturizing cream in there. Plasters can go in there. Jewelry, I'm gonna find somewhere else to put that. In. And that bag is gonna go into my case as well. That's gonna be my beach bag. Okay, other than a couple of extras, that is pretty much all of our toiletries. So this is for two, and there's still room to add a couple of others if need be. But yeah, I filled up all four things. So like I say, because Marcus probably has less clothes than me, these will probably go in his bag, and these obviously are the heavy things. Obviously, it's good though, because when you come back, like I feel like you have less weight because there's so many things you don't really need to bring back. Like we'll probably use up all the shampoo and conditioner, the sun creams, the shower gel, the after sun, all those kind of bits we obviously won't really need to be bringing back um so yeah that is my toiletries and my travel essentials hopefully that has given you a good list for your travel essentials and that you might have forgotten some bits there so use that as your little travel list i will scroll down a list i've made on my phone later as well just to show you again like an overview of a list just for you to maybe use for your packing inspo but yeah these are really good for toiletries Okay, so it is nail time. I am getting my fingers and my toes done. Just gonna go for gel actually, so I'm not gonna get acrylics. Um, my sister is gonna do them for me. As I'm sure you girls probably know, choosing the nail color is definitely the hardest decision, but I think I'm gonna go for the same on my nails as I do my toes. Um, she has just got some new like pinky purpley colors. Are they this end or just, just kind there's of- There's the two purples and then- um, the pinks were so the like purples do there. look really nice but i feel like they're a kind of option i probably would just go for at home like i get that quite often um i'm thinking it's necessary for holiday to go for something a bit brighter and more colorful i've got quite a lot of colorful outfits as well so i was maybe thinking one of the orange colors because again she's got some new colors of these maybe like the apricot kind of color or a bit brighter I don't know, it's a hard decision, but I am leaning more towards, yeah, the brighter colours. So I guess I would just do a little time lapse of my nails getting done and then I will show you the results after. clip you would have seen i was getting my nails done i did decide to go for like the tropical orange color i got both the colors on my nails and toes i will spare you from seeing my toes but they actually look really nice with the color on but i feel like 
nobody wants to see my feet on the internet so here are my nails i just feel like it's a really holiday vibe kind of color and it will look extra nice when i've got a tan as well i think so as i get more tan on the holiday i think the orange will be a good choice but yeah huge thank you to my sister for doing those how nice do they look they're just my natural nails as well um but i am in the car because we have just come for our pre-departure flight test so the one that we need to have to get our fit to fly for flying on saturday so today is thursday so we're getting it 48 hours before and we should fingers crossed they have said we will get our results by tomorrow um so yeah that's what we're doing right now we've just pulled up we're a couple minutes early so we're just waiting for our appointment which is at half two hopefully it'll be fine i think we have to do the test ourselves i think it's just like the swab test um so yeah i will let you know how that is after how we get on but i'm sure it'll be fine but that is what we are up to now okay i'm back in the car pcr test was absolutely fine it was so quick we were literally in and out they checked over our documents um we literally just did a swab test it wasn't even a nasal one it was just from the throat so that was super easy the ladies in there were lovely so nice so helpful i literally didn't think it was going to be that easy and quick so i'm really really happy with that she literally assured us as well that we're going to get the results tomorrow she said most of the time you will literally get them in the morning too so that's good i won't have to sit around worrying that they're not going to come through fingers crossed they'll see negative i'm sure they will be as we've been doing tests this week anyway and they've been negative so it should be absolutely fine so afterwards we just popped and got a starbucks so they've brought out the new like refresher range so i have tried the pink coconut one like the uk version of a pink drink and i actually really like it i know it's got like mixed reviews people are a bit like mm, i'm an ring over it i really liked it and then there's the pink acai one which i want to try and then the cool lime so i got the cool lime refresher and then strawberry syrup i asked for strawberry sauce and she said it was strawberry syrup so i don't know if there is a difference she was like do you want puree or syrup so i just went for syrup but it actually tastes really good Mm, it's just really sweet still i was worried it was gonna be really bitter but it's sweet refreshing it is literally pouring it down though so i was kind of tempted to get a warm drink like a hot chocolate but i really fancy trying this cool lime refresher because i've heard so many people rave on about it and it is as good as they say i potentially do prefer it to the pink drink i'm not sure either way i would definitely recommend you trying it and definitely get some strawberry in it as well i think that makes it really yummy so i'm just gonna have this we're gonna head home probably will next pick you up when i'm either getting my lashes done because that is the next thing i've got to get down my lashes might laminate my brow still and then i'm just gonna complete like packing so i'll pick you up for that and then that will be the end of this video so yeah i hope you guys have been enjoying it so far i was gonna attempt to like pick up my camera in the test just to maybe get some content but i don't really think it was the time or place but be assured it was really really easy and all fine so yeah so you guys probably want to get my lashes okay guys today is friday so the day before holiday last day to prep and pack and sort myself out so excuse my bare face oh, i had a little breakout like around my mouth this week um hoping it clears up but um I am barefaced because today I am getting my eyelashes done. Again, my sister does lashes, so I'm lucky enough that she's going to do them for me this afternoon. I'm super excited to get them done. I just absolutely love having my lashes done, especially for holiday. I just feel like it makes you just look put together when you have, like, no makeup days. Yeah, I just thought I would quickly show you my case because it is now fully packed. I'm pretty sure I've finished all the packing for that. Quickly run you through a checklist and then I will bring you along my eyelashes and then I will round off this video. Okay, here is my little checklist. So in my hand luggage list, in my passport, boarding passes, camera and tripod, airpods, book, money laptop i'm taking my polaroid and a disposable taking a pen some hand sand our covid test that we need to take with us to do when we're there just all the documents in the main case toothbrush toothpaste pill perfume and sun cream after summer moisturizer lip balm face masks essential makeup remover pads makeup remover cleanser my ordinary skincare razor deodorant hairbrush hair bubbles i need to pack straighteners curlers got adapters maybe thinking of packing uno classic um plasters jewelry sunglasses hair clip my hair ponytails primark little ring light thing which i showed you in my come shop with me 
oh i haven't packed that actually brush for glow stuff that's just this um tea bags i always have to take my own tea bags with me because i'm so particular on them tea abroad is just never the same as it is here in the uk so this is a little life hack take your own tea bags chargers bra tripod for my camera which i've got a hat and then i might pack some savalon because again it's just an essential so there's my little packing checklist this is my hand luggage bag that i'm taking it's my one from primark it's just a tote bag it's a really really good size so i can fit a lot in it i'm gonna take my laptop so that's gonna be in it then yeah my cameras tripod and stuff hand sand those bits the documents and then over here is the finished case i have tried to do it up once and then tried to weigh it um it was saying it was like 19 to 20 kilograms so i'm on target let's just hope it's accurate but yeah so packing is all done as you saw in the pack of me this kind of end is like swimwear beach stuff then that end is all like my evening out outfits i've got a bag there just a basic t-shirt as well i've just thrown in yeah so that is all my clothes i'm sure you guys will see a lot of my holiday outfits on my instagram so make sure you are following me over there it's just at tasha glacier here on screen and i'll link it down below but yeah i've also done a lot of hauls with this stuff in which will be on my channel so keep up to date with those but yeah there is all the clothes this side then just in here is just like my underwear and socks and stuff but you guys don't really need to see that i've also packed a little cap and over in this side got the face masks and then shoes a little sun hat more bags uh beach towel and my clipping hair ponytails so yeah that is the case all packed basically ready to go guys feeling excited now we got our test results at like three in the morning so yeah it came through super quick i was so so impressed with that service but they were both negative so that is good i'm feeling less stressed about that feeling ready to go now we are gonna have to be up so early in the morning i think we have to be up at like four o'clock so it's gonna be an early start but it's still fine i do quite like the airport vibes for the early start so yeah i'm just off to get my lashes now <laughs> 